If you want to be notified when Breakfast Club videos go up, remember to subscribe and click the bell. You say you want to try, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. You say you want to cry, but you never do. Sugar, there's a reason why we lose. Hey guys, Nathan Brennan Masters, Breakfast Club Wednesdays, uh, back on the webcam uh, today. Um, I'm not going to make this long because it's not like a ton of stuff to say. You guys have uh, at this point heard about the uh, the shooting at the Congressional Baseball. Uh, well, I guess they were practicing for the Congressional Baseball game. So basically we have a situation where you have uh, a crazy guy who decides, hey, uh, I don't like what's going on in the White House. I don't like what's going on with, poli with politics. I'm going to go in and randomly shoot at uh people that I don't like. And this is what people like myself have been uh, warning everyone about. Uh, it's not about what side you're on. It's not about uh, who you uh, who you vote for, who you like. Uh, it's about the, the de-evolution of our democracy into uh, if I don't like you, it's okay to shoot you or it's okay to attack you. It's okay to be uh, to get physically violent with you because I disagree with your politics. This is going to happen more. You're going to see more of this. You are seeing, uh, actually, it was kind of coming down a little bit because the protests and things were starting to kind of uh, calm down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, you're going to see these uh, lone gunmen type people, these uh, people. And let's be real about it. These people are already a little bit, you know, a little bit loose in the head. So it doesn't take much to push them over the edge. Uh, and uh, we can't blame this on uh, crazy millennials or anything like that this time because this guy was, uh, according to the press, according to the media and everything, this guy was 66 years old. And, uh, you know, this, this guy's been around a little bit. This isn't some wet behind the ears, you know, some kid out of college. This, this guy's been here for a while and he, and he should know better. But uh, apparently he didn't. And uh, so this is what uh, this is what's happening. So, like I say, you're going to see stuff like this more and more because the perception is that violence is okay now. Even though everybody says, hey, uh, violence isn't the answer and we shouldn't be uh, going after people like this, we shouldn't be shooting people, we shouldn't be attacking people, violence is, is not the way. As we know from uh, what we've seen recently, violence is becoming more and more uh, seen as okay under certain circumstances. Even though, again, people are decrying it, everybody says this isn't right. Uh, the onlookers, there's some people out there who are thinking, that's my way to uh, to make my point. That's my way to uh, do what I think needs to be done. So this particular guy was killed and, uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen with the next person. So that's pretty much all I had to say. Uh, you know, there's not a lot that you can say about this. This is what uh, what people saw was coming. You know, we foresaw this to be the end result. And if it keeps going this way, uh, that's going to be the new normal. And that's what we don't want. We don't want that to be the new normal. Uh, just like in uh, over in England, terrorism seems to be coming. The, uh, you know, that seems to be now the new normal. And nobody wants that to be the new normal. Whether it's uh, terrorism from inside or outside, uh, nobody wants it as uh, an everyday thing. Nobody wants it at all, but definitely not uh, as an everyday thing. All right, guys, so uh, that's it for me. I have a meeting in about an hour or so, so I need to get ready for that. Uh, but like I said, that's uh, pretty much all I had to say on the subject. And I know uh, every once in a while you get uh, some kind of lunatic that that does this kind of thing but i i really do think you're going to be seeing uh a lot more of this uh, so all right guys I you say you want to try